Hello, I am Dr. Malika Arjun, Intensive Care Specialist and Anesthesiologist. Uh, I, have made, I have been making so many videos on emergencies and uh, so today I want to talk on an important topic by name snake bite. Snake bite, we know, it is more in uh, rural areas, agricultural areas like where I stay in Amalapuram. It is very very common among the agricultural labor or agriculturists. So, snake bite is an important topic which this is this is a major uh, subject we deal in intensive care unit because uh, snake bites are very often here see according to book according to book in india about if there are 10 snakes only three are poisonous the rest of the seven are non poisonous this is according to book but in rural area in rural area we find in agricultural bed because here paddy is grown paddy is grown and snakes are snakes they mainly hunt rats rats they come for paddy so suppose the uh, there is a paddy field so there are plenty of rats and the ra rats are taken care of by snakes because they eat the rats so you understand this is the eco balance this is the eco balance because if snake is not there rats will totally eat away the paddy we don't have any food okay so it is like an eco balance it, and that's why don't, people have that uh, sentiment of not killing a snake because snakes are uh, our friends not enemies number one so among the uh, 10 snakes seven snakes are non poisonous three are poisonous according to the book i told you so usually uh, in olden days even today even today people go for uh, uh, some uh, local person who uh, uh, you, you know some mantra and all he will put for snake but and 90% uh, of the uh, problems what happens there is if 10 people go with 10 snake bites okay 10 people go with snake bite to the mantra person who, who, who is a local man who gives mantras and all seven people may survive three people may become serious because out of ten only seven, seven are non-poisonous three are poisonous so under, understand the logic understand the logic so don't stay away there so please you can you can this mantras and all you can put later also don't worry because in our hospitals usually i think you must have seen in so many hospitals even intensive care units we treat the patient we go on treating the patients but people have their own really uh, religious customs like some people they worship uh, beside the patient they put bible or bhagavad gita or whatever it is they, they have their own right they have and see people uh, they go to the temple have that uh, uh, whatever you uh, so whatever it is they put on the forehead okay just leave it this is all their uh, beliefs please let them go ahead but first thing is come to the hospital first thing to you see two types of poisons we find in snakes number one is cobra uh, uh, cobra is one of the usual snake we find crate viper there are so many varieties these are all poisonous snakes so the poison is two types one type of poison like cobra cobra is it will directly affect your nervous system directly affect your nervous system it will not allow you to open the eyes completely the nervous system is shut down it, you cannot open the eyes you cannot breathe the patient slowly goes in for paralysis this does doesn't occur immediately so number two the other type of poison it acts on it doesn't cause these symptoms it what it causes is it makes the blood thinner blood will be going on thinner it doesn't clot it doesn't clot that's the most dangerous one so the patient can have bleeding anywhere in the body so that is the second one does it but both the snakes both the snakes when they bite the person the local area that area can go into gangrene that means the part of the limb whether it is hand or whether it is leg that goes into gangrene and the, slowly the hand goes on into gangrene which is dangerous sometimes you may have to if they came come in very very late stages we may have to take out the limb amputation we call it so please from day one this also needs attention the bite the the, the place where it is bitten it is also important so the thing is the moment the patient is brought to the hospital we give them 
polyvalent anti snake venom whether it is non poisonous or poisonous whatever it is we give it there is one injection called polyvalent anti snake venom about 10 to 15 vials in 2 to 3 days we go on infusing that drug which is the antidote for the venom for the venom and along with that we give high antibiotics high 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 uh, the broad spectrum antibiotics take care of the wound and perfectly we, we dress the wound regularly we see that uh, usually the what we see in movies doesn't occur okay see we, in movies we see this there will be a snake bite and within 5 to 10 minutes or with immediately the patient will have uh, some froth at the mouth and he dies it never happens with snake bite please see if the snake bite is in the webs of the hand or on the neck or on the chest it goes little faster maybe half an hour to four, one hour to four, two hours like that but if the bite usually 90 percent of the bites are on the foot are on the foot mostly you can understand farmers so mostly 90 percent of the sna snakes they bite on the foot which is very common which comes very slowly the the supply the blood supply to the foot is very very uh, slow the blood supply to the foot is lesser than the upper extremity upper body so it comes very slowly sometimes it may take 24 hours sometimes it may take 24 hours that's why we put the patient not less than 24 hours in the icu not less than 24 hours in the icu any time symptoms can occur so i told you there are two types of symptoms one is patient completely getting paralyzed for that patients usually this happens with cobra and uh, neurotoxic we call it we put the patient on ventilator we we see both the patients receive that antidote polyvalent anti-snake venom antibiotics routine and blood tests that they are routine they are routine so we put this patient who is unable to breathe on ventilator on next day and 24 after 24 hours probably he will come out of this uh, problem and the other patient whose blood becomes thinner the other snake uh, like crate or whatever it is viper crate their blood becomes thinner so uh, it's it's not clotting it's not clotting so we give them fresh frozen plasma from blood bank we take fresh frozen plasma and infuse that into the patient and along with other things like uh, polyvalent anti-snake venom antibiotics and in both the cases we take care of the foot or whatever it is wound 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 is very very important because most of the people who who go to local mantra and all they they come back to us uh, after seven days or eight days with complete gangrene with complete uh, damage of the foot or hand whatever it is so please uh, take care of this so uh, immediately approach the hospital some people come very early to the hospital sometimes some people as seen in movies they come little later because the agriculturist might have gone into the field uh, nobody is there with him he must have had a bite and he didn't recognize or whatever it is he, he will be found little later when the relatives come uh, search for him he will be found uh, in the uh, fields but he will be unconscious with froth at the mouth that is called pulmonary edema pulmonary edema means the blood is not clotting and it has become thinner and uh, he developed like cardiac failure like things so he is in pulmonary edema at that stage they bring the patient to the hospital even at that time the patient survives out of 10 seven, 7 to 8 people survive and go home we put the patient immediately on ventilator start the treatment and 90 percent of the cases are saved 90 percent of the cases are saved snake bite is no more dangerous no more dangerous so please whenever uh, anything like that appears immediately come to the hospital treatment is at every small level i, I told you in amalapuram i am in amalapuram see we are treating very very efficiently so in a, in uh, in andhra pradesh or in india every small uh, even even uh, uh, a primary health center or any place all the injections are available please come to the hospital or nearest uh, government hospital or whatever it is you please come immediately don't delay don't uh, rely on mantra and all because you can you can take care later first come to the hospital later in the hospital whatever it is your your uh, customs your uh, religion and your uh, uh, things will not be stopped we allow okay do whatever you want let us try.